Oh, I'm getting my uh, my jetpack charged while I'm in the middle of the hyper tube as I pass by the um, the zap. This is the the power poles. Power poles. Those are the words. The Zapdos. The Zapdos. Yes. Pokemon words. Did they ever show, like, Pokemon being used for, like, as beasts of burden like that? Oh, like, definitely. Some, I, don't, I don't remember it too well. But, like, I don't even... I, did, he, did they ever show, like, Officer Jenny or whatever running around, like, riding a horse, like a ponyta or something? Well, they're on fire. So probably not them. <laughs> but there's got to be With others, special right? special saddle. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, there. Feed that shit in. How's our rubber doing up here? I'm 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 pretty sure I've seen Pokemon working in Pokemon. Yeah. I think that is a safe assumption. I mean, so Chansey. They've got a job working at, like, the hospital. And yep. then... But that's all I really kind of remember. Okay, and now rubber's backing up. And the new problem is that there's not enough cooling systems. Oh, cool. I might add another manufacturer to the cooling system floor because we need enough to turn in, in addition to uh, mm -hmm. how it's being processed. It'd be really it's weird a few problem. if, like, explicitly Mr. Mime never worked as a mime. <laughs> like, it was, it was not allowed by Pokemon law to have Mr. Mimes work as mimes. Not since the Calamity. Yeah. I've always had a mixed relationship with Pokemon. I liked it as a kid, both the show and the games. But that was because, like, at that point, uh, like, Golden Sun and Pokemon were, like, my only vaguely RPG experience, period. Yeah. Like, I think, uh, if I remember correctly, yeah, I think, like, that was my... I didn't even know what an RPG was. I just knew what Pokemon was and, like... I was given a Game Boy Color with Pokemon Yellow to shut me up, essentially, <laughs> during like road trips as a kid. We had handheld okay. consoles back then. Okay. 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 And Pokemon Yellow was the first game to make me cry, but not because Aww. of plot or anything. It was because I was fighting the Elite Four, and so on. And like right when it saved, I dropped my Game Boy and it deleted my save. And that was like oh, that sucks. the most loss I had experienced so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so pipelines can take a maximum of 600 meters cubed per m minute. Uh, this this boy over here does 120. Uh, this. This friend over here, they do 240, so that's 360. And then this one does 240, so that puts us at three. Uh, I'm kind of messing up my numbers. That puts us right at 600. Cool. So, so fun slow. fact, fun fact, uh, one of our oil extractors is doing literally nothing. An entire extractor? An entire extractor is doing, is accomplishing zero good. Bird, how'd this happen? So, oh man, how does anything ever happen? Um, anyway, I'm yeah. gonna... How does it happen, I'm gonna, Bird? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna hook the, the thing that wasn't <laughs> doing anything. I'm gonna hook the thing that wasn't doing anything up to our pipeline systems. And now we should have 600 uh, oil blowing from that uh, pipeline <laughs> into our base. 
So that's what we get to work with now. We're gonna have so much oil now. I know. We have so much oil that America's gonna invade our game. They ride on the back of an Arcanine at one point. Well, Arcanine's, I don't think Arcanine's on fire. He just looks fiery. Yeah. But Ponyta and, and Charizard are actually on fire. Yeah. I don't think Ar I think Arcanine is perfectly pettable. He does seem like a good boy. He's yeah. Just he's just like fire styled, like a tiger. Yeah, he just breathes fire. He's not is fire. Yeah. He's probably warm though. Don't get me wrong. If you pet him, no. it'd probably just be like, like oh. You know, left to my own devices, I would just collect all the Pokemon dogs. <laughs> I was already starting like to do four. it in Pokemon Go. There's so much more than four. There's like four. There's like four in you Gen Arcanine, 1. You got You got Arcanine's little brother. Growlithe? Woof. Growlithe. That's the one. Yeah. I, I was thinking the, Wolflith, and I was like, that's this, not For quite some right. reason, there's a rule where cats... It seems like cats and dogs are always a two-part evolution. Yeah. They almost never get a trilogy except for Incineroar? Incineroar is a dog? In, no, I said cats and dogs. Oh, okay. Every single generation at least has, like, a pair of cats and a pair of dogs that where one evolves into the other one. And there's, like... Eight generations, so there's a lot. Uh, yeah, and Gen One had, and Gen One had two, right? Because it was the Hellhound and uh, Arcanine. That started off pretty yeah. metal. Gen One had a fucking Hellhound. <laughs> but uh, there's Electrike, and whatever it evolves into is a, a lightning dog, in some generation. And the most recent one has Boltund, which is another lightning dog. <laughs> Listen, there's only so many ideas. Well, I, I organize all my pens by putting them into a box. Where I, that's the place I would least suspect to find them. There we go. Your pens are okay. in a box? They have 600. Yeah. Okay, so we're taking away 30 for this thing. Oh fuck, these are blenders, shit. 30 for this thing. 30 for this thing. 30 for this. Th I'm sensing a trend. <laughs> and oh, 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 this is the one that changes it up. 60 for this thing. Okay, so that's. 30, I don't know how we're going to go. 120, 180. So we're using 180 oil and we have we have a lot apparently we have a pretty dank amount of oil left over to work with dank oil all right well let's uh let's put this shit to use um damn there is not much room to build anything here <laughs> Enjoy problem solve. Uh, well, what I could do is always just stick a second floor on it. The problem is that the oil refineries are really, really tall. It's not a big problem. It's just like the the aesthetics is uh it's a little weird you can't just feed the pipes uh just to go a little further down the line and make a, a second oil refinery base yeah, i could just, just keep going it goes over the lake yeah the lake's kind of an irritating boundary but it's an imagined boundary you could just go around it yeah it doesn't actually have to stop stuff. you it doesn't have to hold no, you back bird there's some stuff bird there's some stuff. Don't let the lake I don't stop you, bird. With some stuff. Actually, there's this stuff's not all that far away. It just looks a lot. It looks like there's more stuff than there actually is when you're flying above it all. Gives you a brand new perspective. Stuff that didn't look like it was actually an uh, obstruction look much more annoying when you're above it all. Always look on the stuff side of stuff. Stuff 
It's tough. It's too much stuff oh, until there's on. not. There's a bunch of refineries I missed over here. Okay, so this one is another. Where'd I put my pen? Is your math fucky? And untrusty. Just the corner. <laughs> there's another 30 being used. Another 30. Another 30. And another 30. Okay, so that's 180. Uh, let's see. 210, 240, 270, 300. Okay, so we have 300 uh, oil to work with. So that's potentially just Neat. 10 rubberers. Which makes a lot of sense. I'll just make five. I'll make five rubberers. Uh, and that'll be good enough. So the question becomes, how do I do that so it becomes as minimal of a pain in ass as possible? And the answer is, I don't know if that's if it's possible to minimize that. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, did you just decide? Did you just talk, talk about minimizing being a pain in the ass? Mm, no, well, me personally, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about whether I can set something up to not be a pain in the ass later on. It's like I don't even know you anymore. No, 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 no. This is this is different. This is this is on brand. It's not like I'm gonna follow through. I'm gonna identify the problem and then what be like, on with? the God other hand, it. fuck it. What is it encroaching on? Tell me. <laughs> you sound like that one Mega Man voice actor. What is it even encroaching on? It's just when you're trying to play stuff and it's like, it's encroaching on something space. I'm like, yeah, what? Would you like to share with the class who's encroaching on what? Purda, please. No, you don't want to? Cool. I'll just delete a bunch of random things that I have to rebuild later until it works. <laughs> Heard it, please. I don't remember them from Hades. Heard it, please. Did they give you a good boon? The boon of Purda, please. <laughs> <laughs> The boon of Purda, please, is I'll be your friend. Come on. <laughs> uh, I need to. I don't have a chainsaw, but I don't want to go get a chainsaw. That sounds like a pain. But there's a thing in the way that requires chainsaw. No. Damn it. All right, I guess I gotta go get a chainsaw before Your I can Your nemesis. All right, now that I've dealt with all that shit, I can deal with the next problem, which is that we're not making enough heat sinks. Do we have enough, uh, have we made enough um, turbo motors yet to just get particle enrichment for the sake of doing it? Uh, I'll check in a minute. Okay. One of the problems we're running into, though, that last I checked, is that uh, even if we are, I then have to figure out, I have to figure out the fact that uh, yep, there we go. Uh, we don't have enough necessarily of the previous item because right. of the two things we need right now, one of them's made of the other one. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was trying Which to articulate earlier. some annoying but stuff. Couldn't. But yeah, it's uh, that's a that's a huge pain. Then it leads to a an annoying situation where I might have to unplug it so that I can get enough of the previous tier without it getting eaten by the next tier all the time. Yeah. But, but the current limit is that we're not making enough heat sinks, so there's not, not enough cooling systems are being made, which is why that's the throttle on our turbo motors to begin with. Yeah. Let's see, how many turbo motors do we got? 64. That is less than 100. Yeah, but it's more than a Nintendo. 
It's exactly a Nintendo. Unless you mean older Nintendos. Bullshit. <laughs> They'll never make a 64 <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? 64, that's too much. Next, you're going to say they're going to make a cube Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> what if we took... What if we took a Nintendo and we made it multiplied by itself three times? Oh my god. I appreciate that you can't you don't actually die with a hover pack. If you if you abruptly start falling, if you hold down space bar, you'll actually hover down to your yeah, the ground. It prevents you from taking fall damage. It's like a parachute, which makes a lot of sense because you would otherwise like You'd have if you were falling to your death, you'd have to pull the parachute out of your inventory and like fumble around to put it on. The silver hog. The silver hog. The blue barracudas. <laughs> <laughs> Can't afford rest. Oh, it's 160, not 150. Damn. Damn. This minor inconvenience is definitely going to bother me for the rest of the evening. Do I put it in my hand? I do. <laughs> All right. Where should I put the silver hog? <laughs> Keep that shit in your hand for for efficient cranking. <laughs> this is definitely a. Uh... It's definitely a little statue that you can hold on to. You can put it somewhere. It is funny that when you look you look at it in your hand, it, it's like a little figurine, but it, you, you put it in the environment and it's, it's a full ass statue. That's a whole ass statue. Bro. I'm gonna put him on Pride Rock, what? I think. That was weird. I think the model for the chainsaw gets really broken. Uh, if you are also hovering or something. Some combination of hovering plus chainsawing led to disastrous consequences. <laughs> Were you a jetpack uh, chainsaw wielder? It was weird. It was something like that, though. Hmm. By the way, using a jetpack to wield, like, to fly around while wielding a chainsaw basically makes you a space marine. Yeah, more it or less. It gets you damn close. Yeah, we even played that game. There was definitely, like, I think there was a jetpack chainsaw unit. Can't afford. I need to get copper sheets, but those aren't that far away. <laughs> I'll never recover from this problem. <laughs> That's that like way. only a 30 second flight. There's a lot of annoyance right now coming from the fact that the silver hog placement does not involve any kind of silhouette. Oh. And it places perpendicular to the direction you're facing, and you're like, "What the fuck?" Hey, Good no enough. one ever said the silver Good enough. hog. I'll like never, I'll never align it. All right, the the silver hog is currently on our HQ, building like a hood ornament. <laughs> I'm never placing it any better than that because it's like they do not help you. It does not align or pl place in any helpful way. Okay. You can't rein in the hog, dude. You tried Can. and you failed. It's easy. We this raining in the hog is like an episode two thing for us. We've been doing it all game. The hog is unimpressive. <laughs> Unlike an Overwatch, if you hear Three. someone's going a whole hog in this game, you're like, okay, so like two hits. <laughs> oh, cool, it's dead. I'll call me when it's over. <laughs> hey, I still die to those things. I yes, you do. And we all love you for it. But it's a you <laughs> thing. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, um, where's the, where, where do I put the things? Yeah, that's, talk about an, an enemy that's only a threat if he sneaks up behind you on a ledge like Wile E. Coyote yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. okay. He's currently the one hand three. climbing a ladder with a chainsaw. Cool. Having a regular one with the pals. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty bottlenecked, isn't it? 
Yep, gonna have to figure out why there's not enough heat sinks. Steel pipes, those are actually much more farther away from me. That's actually legitimately a little annoying. Yep, all the way back at the base. Well, shit. Got any three minute topics on mine? <laughs> Uh, oh, I actually did have a thing I haven't talked about yet today, huh? Uh, yeah. I was robbed of a brilliant opportunity. I don't know. I uh, I thought I I I thought I was gonna get a PS5 today. Oh, that sucks. And what I'm happened? Very, I'm frustrated. Oh, all these radio control units aren't going through. Why aren't they going Did anywhere? the thing happen where they say, like, your PS5 is on its way, we're having oh, trouble filling it, and then they just cancel your order on you? Oh, no. Uh, they're, like, super unavailable, like, in the world right now. No, I just yeah. went on, like, I just went on, like, Craigslist. <laughs> oh, nice. And because I don't, don't want to deal with the scalpers, so I'm trying yeah. to find just random people that are just, like, selling their PS5 because they just like, oh, I really like it. <laughs> Or, got, or like they, they're lucky enough to get one, but they don't actually value it all that much, or they're just over it already, and there's not much to play on it or something. And yeah. uh, that's how you get the okay prices potentially. And mm -hmm. we agreed that uh, we agreed that we that uh, we we're gonna meet up today to exchange it. And uh, mm -hmm. Stephanie was gonna come with me because it's, you're supposed to. That just seems like the smart thing to do when you do when you do a Craigslist thing. Driving off to yeah. some other town to meet up with a stranger as you bring witnesses and people around and don't just like walk into someone's house randomly alone. Uh, yeah. And uh, like there yesterday, like, oh yeah, I'm off work tomorrow. And it's like, oh yeah, cash is fine. Yeah, all right. And then uh, today they just fucking radio silence. They just, uh, they just fucking ghosted me and don't won't tell me where to go. And presumably it's just off or whatever, and the Craigslist page is deleted. <laughs> Maybe they realize how much they're actually selling for. Maybe. But I'm like, that's frustrating. Yeah. Then I found a, another page that was selling them, but they haven't responded to me. May not, this may not be a usable lead, but it's frustrating. I'm like, I just don't know why these things. It was potentially we my all solution. Want literally anything at this point, but yeah. getting. I followed God the wrong damn. track. Where are the heat sinks? Uh, this year I had like all these fun projects lined up of like, okay, I'm going to do this home improvement thing or I'm going to do this electronics thing. And instead I'm like, uh, we're going to keep the lights on. And if we get through the year with that, then that's probably the best we could do. Oh, like, they, they're downstairs. oh it's so rough right now. Oh, uh, the bottleneck to the whole building is copper sheets. That thing that we thought yep. wouldn't happen. <laughs> yep. That later, that problem for later us thing from earlier. Wait, are there just not enough copper sheets being made? To, yeah, you made a whole base just for copper sheets. Are there just not yeah, I wouldn't in? worry too much about being able to scale up our production of copper sheets. Uh, to be I mean, honest. We just, well, I mean, we don't have enough. Uh, well, we can get more, I believe. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check your train stuff and see if it's making as much as it can or whatever. Though, well, okay, from the distance I see a bunch of red lines, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> I think the, uh, I think those things might not be turned on over there. So I'll go check that out. Oh, well, go, uh, yeah, I was go trying to play figure some essential music. I was trying to figure out a solution, because I was like, oh, I'm coming out with my 10 year anniversary with YouTube. And mm -hmm. the first, like the first series I did with Andrew, that that was a, a, a game as opposed to Xbox Live any games, but like a, a, a game, a single game, like series playthrough thing was Dark uh -huh. Souls. And yeah. like, technically, my first playthrough on this channel was Outlast, but uh, before I even finished Outlast, I already started Demon Souls. So like, there's a specific connection to the obviously the, the, there's a connection because of the sheer amount of coverage I did to, the, to that franchise. But it was also like mm -hmm. my premiere thing on both channels. So I'm coming up on um, 100,000 subscribers and 10 years, like both in the same yeah, year. I saw. It's cool yeah. stuff. And so I was just like, I wanna, I wanna celebrate by doing like a. It seemed like a fun idea was was to be like a, a Soulsborne revisited and replay all of the all five Soulsborne games. Uh, because it's been like a good four years since I played any of them. Because you know the franchise is just kind of on pause aside from Sekiro. Another making Elden uh -huh. Ring. 
would be a good recap. But I was like, oh, right. You know, be the perfect way to start that series would be to play the, uh, the fucking remake, remake of the first game I ever played on my channel. <laughs> yeah. Like, obviously, that's just perfect. That's perfect planning. Obviously, I would do that. One problem. <laughs> <laughs> to remake exclusively for a fucking console that's unobtainable. I'm like, God fucking damn it. That, that's why I had that tweet. I had, mm -hmm. uh, you, you wouldn't know about it, but I had, I had a tweet yesterday where I'm just kind of going, <laughs> well going, over, the, going over the fact yeah, yeah, that... Uh, yeah, because you're, you're not really on Twitter. But I was like, my God, it just, real, I just, it just hit me again that I'm like... It's been, it, this console's been out for like seven months, and I'm someone who plays video games for a living, and I still don't have one because they're just completely unavailable like for other people it's normal not to buy a console until years later potentially just whenever mm -hmm. they get around to it or maybe never who cares but when you when you're like when you cover games for a living you're like you just immediately buy consoles when they come out because you need that you need them and i'm like yeah i need it but it's not happening uh that's uh and i'm like yeah it's still just undoable so that spurned me that spurned me to go on and try to solve the problem again, and that led to this whole th dis new disappointment where I yeah. thought I had a lead, and then people disappointed me like they always do. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so, so frustrating. Yeah. Like, it's Bitcoin's fault. It is Bitcoin's fault. Cryptocurrency ruins all of the things, but fuck all the things that matter. It ruined video games. <laughs> <laughs> And then soon we're gonna like deal with cryptocurrency fucking with hard drives. So that's gonna be awesome. Great. Especially because I work for a company that is cloud storage. I need hard drives. My work needs hard drives. Please don't make my work worse <laughs> by buying crypto. I know you will, but please, it, it will materially make my life worse. Crypto is so <laughs> frustrating because it's like, it's just picking almost random computer parts and stress testing the entire market <laughs> because <laughs> because it just becomes yep. a thing where it's like oh the the trend this week is you need a billion of exactly this part <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's just required for crypto this week is you got to have one billion graphics cards because it's the get rich quick scheme that will totally still be here next month and then it's like oh now you gotta get this part and it's just deeply frustrating and half the time it's in pursuit yeah. of like baffling shit like nfts where it's like you're buying nothing you imaginary own something that isn't real or something or whatever and it's like it blew people, my mind when get somebody into, in pretend products it really blew my mind when somebody explained to me that um an nft doesn't even give you like any copyright claims no. like you can't even like if you buy like a meme with an NFT, you can't even like DMCA somebody for using your meme. No, wrong. you just get like, you get all you get is imaginary dibs on a mark, but only in the context of that market that only some people care about existing in the first place. It's so and people are weird. willing to put millions into it. I'm like, this is just money money laundering, right? Like, they're only willing to put this much money into it because it's for secret other reasons. Like, how people only buy Banksy art because they're actually just laundering money or some shit. Like, I has Like, NFT... It, uh, these people can't be so deranged that they're just buying imaginary bullshit for huge amounts of money because they genuinely think it's worth buying. It can't be. Like, the secret world of rigged bullfighting or whatever the fuck. Like, every... Like, there's gonna be a fucking... Uh, Vice documentary about this like in a year that's like the secret reason people actually buy NFTs because no one could possibly value them right like it's like <laughs> it's so fucking nonsensical that I immediately suspected it of being false as a premise Oh, this is the alternate ru uh, rubber recipe. There's going to be a whole explanation that of why people secretly like NFTs, and it's going to be like akin to like how pachinko parlors are f are like a way to get around gambling being illegal. <laughs> like it's just going to have it's going to be fulfilling some kind of incredibly strange, obscure part of society. Yeah. Yeah. It turns out like NFTs are a way to uh, like do legal prostitution in some super roundabout way, and we're like, huh, neat. <laughs> That's pretty nifty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, right now it's just 
a lot of crypto and NFTs are all just tied to dumb nonsense about just just using so next work, level amounts of com of computer of computing to just <laughs> in like ha making a bunch of computers that just it's jo their jobs are just to waste time and energy. Yep. Basically, and then monetize the wasting of that energy, and it's like cool. Glad that there's like entire countries now where like like some ungodly percentage of their power consumption is just for imaginary coin farming and that somehow <laughs> this is somehow a better idea than just making money the uh th this doesn't compare at all to the, the well okay it all compares you want to know the the latest random crazy ass bullshit thing that has to be a scam that i heard about oh no there's we're not even game... done with the last one <laughs> There's a game that I heard of that's in like an early access phase two, phase one kind of situation where it's like all it's I guess it's supposed to be like a social game at some point and you buy like plots of land that are tied to actual places on Earth. So it can be like, oh, I want to buy like this patch of ground that like represents like the central of London or something. And to buy that, while in early access, it costs like ten to twelve thousand dollars for like these little one kilometer plots of land or something. And uh, the game has, as far as I can tell, no real business model beyond that for right now. It's literally just like, yeah, we're going to use this to fund the development if you buy like virtual plots of land in our game. Uh, which, like, is... Wow, that is crazy to me that they got even one person to decide to do that. Yeah, that's just to, incredibly strange. <laughs> like, wow. I'd be like somebody saying, like, ah, yeah, I got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn, uh, but the bridge hasn't been built yet, but I promise it will be built. Here's the plans for it. Um, <laughs> they're drawn on the back of this napkin, and people are like, yep, hitch me up to that wagon. I'm going to go ahead and spend 25% of what the what an average American household makes in a year on a virtual plot of London. There's like a weird five degrees of Kevin Bacon nonsense thing going on where like people are like, you you hit them with a the thing that they wouldn't want to buy, but then if you like add two layers of obscuring to the thing, suddenly it's weirdly like appealing to them and they can't wait to buy it. And it's like, you wouldn't have bought the thing that it was in the first place, would you? So why would you, why do you care when it's like a special digital, like extra <laughs> layer of the thing? Like who gives a shit? You don't want the thing. But Still just it not could enough. be worth more in the future. It's an investment. I'm so there, old. <laughs> there is a crypto that I heard about recently that um well like grifto, I think it's a little bit uh, funny. Uh it's called Banano Coin. And the way the Banano Coin works is uh you uh instead of using your compute power to compute like wasteful bullshit nothingness is you it like is it like real power. bananas where a single virus could wipe out the entire uh, the entire world supply? <laughs> no, no, no. It's kind of cool. It's uh, <laughs> you you use your uh, you lend your computer to a cloud computing project called Folding at Home, where basically what it is is it uh, helps medical researchers um, simulate uh, how proteins can fold in response to like um, medicines and like stuff like that. Uh, and helps them research prion diseases and things. So uh, instead of computing SHA hashes for no reason, you uh, help cure cancer with your banana coins. It's like, great, that's awesome. Why isn't that one the popular one? Because it's not a meme. It it's not a funny, funny joke that, that Elon Musk can joke about on SNL. Uh, yeah, that's the other fucking thing is like, do you really want your 
Do you really want your like investment to be tightly coupled to Elon Musk's mood that day? Like, it's, <laughs> that's a lot, man. There's a lot of struggle going for the fact that, like, <laughs> yeah, this entire industry is weirdly volatilely affected by one guy's like Donald Trump tweets of the day. <laughs> Twitter needs to be deleted. Yeah. They ruined the presidency. They ruined money. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize this until fairly recently, like maybe two or three months ago. And I might have even mentioned this, mentioned this on Satisfactory, but it bears repeating. Uh, Twitter's stock price is lower now than it was when they uh, like IPO'd. Twitter has basically never been um, worth investing in. It's kind of always been this like cancer on society that never was able <laughs> to turn a profit, but made life worse for most of us. And, we, and then a lot of us are using it. It's like, I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing here. Oh, it's it's wild to me. But hey, at, never at, at, least, at least it has this whole section that just teaches people to bully every day and then is like here's your target this day yeah. it's like a, it's like a daily quest in an mmo <laughs> you log into overwatch today i want you to do three quick play matches and then bully this celebrity <laughs> <laughs> and, or sometimes not a celebrity sometimes a child that happened to like say something a little weird that day but they're a child but no one cares like Twitter has never paid dividends to any shareholders. The stock itself has not really ever gone up in value. If you've invested money in Twitter, you've like, what is this, 10 years out practically? You've 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 got nothing. Yeah. You've literally got nothing to show oh, okay. for it. God damn it. It's amazing. What I just a got really <laughs> platform. I just got 90 minutes into this session before I remembered again that you can sprint while using the jetpack. Oh, dude. It was going so slow. Have a little swag. I'm like, I'm like this thing sucks, but, it's so, but it makes me go up, I guess. <laughs> I forgot that it can fucking go faster forward. I don't think you can like... Oh my god. Even when I said earlier that going down is too slow, you can hold shift and C to go down fast. God damn it. Mm -hmm. I've just been misplaying all day. All right. I think I finally no, jammed okay. enough You're crystals. I I, uh, I tripled the number of buildings making cr sh copper sheets at your train station, then put three crystals in all of them. So oh, that's a lot. It's like septuple the previous rate. Very... So it might finally be enough to back up the uh, heat sinks so that they aren't that's, waiting for copper that's, sheets. That's great. Because yeah, I think there was only like two or three buildings making them uh, when I went over there. And then the rest of them were like plans for the future that never got fulfilled. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I'm all about, <laughs> baby. Dreams left ignored. Okay, so we have more rubber. Um, I don't really know where to hook them up though. Ninety per minute, shit. Uh, just like add them to the rubber line. Okay, I guess I can do that. Where'd you make the rubber? At the at the same place the rubber's already being made. Yeah, yeah, you just feed them onto the existing rubber line somewhere. Okay. And the, and as long as you think it has out. the Yeah, okay. Maybe it will sort itself out. Who the hell knows? Let's see. Ah, I see problem. I see France. I see, I see France. bullshit that I did. Uh oh. so I fix now I fixed the copper sheet problem. But now there's the fact that I have three manufacturers making whatever the fuck heat sinks go into, but we only have, but we have, that they require 30 each, so they require 90 heat sinks per minute, but we have four buildings making heat sinks at seven, oh, 7.5 per minute, but now they're, okay, they, they, oh, they don't have crystals in them yet. Yeah. Easy solutions. All my bullshit exploring and wandering around has like, like I, it's not true anymore, but uh, I think like, a, a few sessions ago, I think I had a hundred crystals in my inventory. Ooh, that's instead good. Of, You're talking of about crystal slugs, by the way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see. It's 18.75 uh, per minute times 4 is about 80. And they needed about 90. Eh, close enough. Fuck it. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> Heat sinks will be bottlenecked a little bit, but not that much. Mm -hmm. That's better than most of our working solutions. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, when I was exploring around and whatnot, and whenever I have to do, like, a, tr a lap back and forth between the various bases, I just end up grabbing a bunch of slugs. It's one of the pastimes I can do in this game without, like, making off-screen progress, really. Yeah. As you just end up wandering around the areas we've already explored and grabbing more rando slugs. There are many O slug to be had. Okay, Do we have a hunter uh... in here yet? Oh, did you grab them? So, yeah, I grabbed enough turbo motors. Um, I'm debating just tearing up these two conveyor belts and letting our heat sinks build up for a little bit. Uh, I think what just I, I mean, enough to instead of good. instead of those, put those ones back, I would just tear it up at where those things are being made. Oh, that's even more efficient. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just disconnect the thing that takes them upstairs, and now this box will fill yeah. up. Yep. Yeah, let's do that, and then that'll allow us to just finish up particle enrichment. And then... Yeah, so this has 15 in it right now. We need to hit 130. Yeah. That should take That'll a couple be a minutes. Bit. Yeah, no, I went through a few different iterations of how to get a PS4. <laughs> At one point, I was like, I'll, I'll put a video out, and I'll be like, I'll refund you your PS4. Do you regret buying a PS4? I'll buy it back buy. At, at full buy. price. Are you saying buy? Five. Five. Yeah, PS5, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was going to be like, I'll, I'll buy your PS5 off you if you regret buying a PS5, viewers. <laughs> And I'll pay for the shipping too. But then I was just mm -hmm. in a panic about like, oh god, but like what if somebody tries to con me? Or like what if it gets mm -hmm. lost in the mail, then everyone loses mm -hmm. and I'm and mm -hmm. I'm the bad guy if I don't pay them, but also I don't get a PS5. Cause uh I thought about like I I don't give them my address, obviously. So they send no, my PO box. But I've heard box. of people yep. trying I've heard of like people sending stuff to my PO box and it and like it like not going well and getting sent back to them or something for some reason and i'm never entirely sure why i like vaguely suspect that this that my my local post office might be kind of shit uh <laughs> but i don't have much to do about that because that's the post office in the area at, but mm -hmm. at the same time uh at the same time i've uh i've sent multiple things to my own p.o box and uh, ordered stuff to it, and I've always gotten it, so I have no clue what the problem is people have had before. But Andrew sent something to my PO box, and they were like, "I don't know, man. I don't. This doesn't seem to exist." And he's like, "And he's like, nah, it seems to be the right address." And then it went through, and it, and it did arrive, but there was like a weird pushback from the people he was that were like doing the addressing, and it's like, "What the fuck? Does my not sh does my PO box not show up in the system? What's wrong here?" So I've got too many uncertainties and paranoias there to have that kind of request and just be aware of how many ways it can go wrong. So it's way easier to like find a local person and buy it off them in person because there's is a PS5. How how much do PS5s cost right now? Like eight like to nine hundred dollars if you get them off a scalper. And on one hand, $900? it's a lot. That ba that's like almost twice MSRP, right? Yes. It's more than twice if it's digital. It's less than twice if it's disc. Because wow. getting one that has a disc drive costs a hundred dollars more. It's four hundred and five hundred dollars. But yeah, it's, it's they're still way the fuck up there. It is such a shortage of this this console generation. It's completely fucked. It's deeply frustrating. I don't know how accurate these prices are, but I am seeing that, like, uh, some of these things are, like, $800. Some of them are, like, $1,400 if they're coming with, like, controllers and, like, extra bundles and stuff like that. Jesus. This is fucked up, man. When is this going to end, right? Like, Yeah, I mean, if you're paying extra be... on top for a bundle, that's stupid. 
It's literally it's just be... for like the yeah. fact that it's like a particular skew. Otherwise, just buy a controller. They just you it's, could go into yeah. any store right now and buy the video games and controllers for the PS5. <laughs> mm -hmm. All of them have them. They just don't have PS5s. It's deeply irritating. It's so like yeah. if you go to if you go on Best Buy or Target, there's a whole PS5 section that that conspicuously doesn't include the console, <laughs> but it has everything it's else. Just so fucked up, and you know it's not going to end for years, right? Like we we yeah. ran into the same. Word in the street with, like, is that the PS5 still won't be like very obtainable until like to 2022. Uh, <laughs> Two years after they launched. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, um, I remember how difficult it was to get like a, a 10, a 1080 back in like, what was that? Like 2015, 2016. And like, that was bad, but boy, the horror now of getting like new graphics cards is just like so much worse than I could have ever imagined. Yeah, no, it's the, it's miserable. And, yeah. And there's like no end in sight to this too like i don't know how we because the more production we ramp up on our electronics the more people yeah. are just going to consume them what's like, funny what's, what's what stood out to me a little bit is like the santa monica studio recently announced that god of war won't be coming out until 2022 and part of me wonders yeah. if it's because they won't sell enough copies if they launch when there's not enough ps5s out they won't like, ob like obviously there's like covid and there's other stresses and so on but I also like wonder if they might intentionally delay various first-party games until there's actually enough PS5s on the market. Yeah, which further oh, devalues the, the PS5s crash? for anyone that actually bought them. No, I'm good. Mm. Okay, looks like the game did not just crash. I was okay, politely cool. waiting for the 130th yeah. shit bag to get built. <laughs> And like then, you know, there's all like launch the things. electronics are like in such a precarious position because so much of the uh, so much electronics are coming out of Taiwan and people are like, oh, do we invest in Taiwan right now? I don't fucking know. And then mm -hmm. like, but then it's like, do we build factories at home? And those are extraordinarily expensive. So no one wants to do it. Here we go. So basically nobody wants to. Milestone no one wants to make chips. Processes, such as recycling nuclear Are we done? Converting it into plutonium, as well as the what? What the fuck? We might be done, dude. A new project part enables well, now we can make the now we can make nuclear power and stuff. We can make nuclear power. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. There is still the last, the very yeah, last the space stuff, elevator. There's the, there's the stuff we researched. Oh yeah, there's no, there's also the space elevator too. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but, there's no there's no more goals on that screen. But now we can make like a nuclear reactor or something, and then yeah. explode our whole base or something and die. Well, what we a need finale! To make nuclear cast, uh... Oh, we're not making any of these things. What the fuck are these? <laughs> yeah, no, these are these are fun. Oh, these are these are the the, look the at these, California fun time. These, look at these players. fucking Transformers extras that we got to put in here. They're so oh, I no know. they're so messy and noisy and vaguely sci-fi looking. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, we're not making any yeah, we're not making any of these things. We are making all of the components of some of them. So how do you make a make a particle accelerator? Oh yeah, we're making um, all the we're making it's all like the a ton of crap. We're making all the ingredients of the first three of them, aren't we? A bigger particle accelerators too. Oh, they're big! What a surprise! Is it an they're exciting big. building? Oh boy! Oh, it's the <laughs> big. It's a like stupid ass roller coaster. Yeah, it's the big. It's the big ring that's on the start screen. Yeah, that's the main menu thing. This is <laughs> it does. It does looking. almost perfectly fit on that roof, which is pretty. Yeah. Which, which would look neat. <clears throat> but I feel like what goes into it might make that annoying. Yeah, where do we want to put that? I guess we should look into what it what the ingredients are so we can figure out what to put it next to. Let's see. Well, we need yeah, we need to figure out what uh we make we're going to make some some nuclear fettuccine. Yeah, nuclear pasta. We need supercomputers, we need turbo motors, so I guess we're turning that we should, back on. We should all we should all just feed it all off into a completely different base and and just bring all the uh 
ingredients back via the uh, the airport or whatever and just call that airport Alfredo. <laughs> it brings the pasta. <laughs> copper powder. Is that just copper? Or is it with something? A pressure conversion cube. Interesting. You were the fastest in, in history to destroy your pressure conversion cube. <laughs> it's gonna, yeah, anything that uh, ends with the word cube in a video game yeah. becomes companion cube. A copper okay, powder. There's nothing over here. I'm leaving now. Copper powder is made of copper. Yeah, it's just made of copper. <laughs> it's just made of copper ingots. Wow. So that's control easy. Control rods. What the fuck uh, are electromagnetic control rods made cube. of? Conversion cube is made of a radio control unit and a fused modular frame. Okay, so nuclear pasta is pretty easy. Just take two of the things that we just started making and then mix them with copper powder. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, my migraine is kicking in super hard now because my mind is like, oh, you reached a checkpoint. Now I'm yeah. going to remind you of how much pain you're in. Oh, no. I'm like, how? Oh. Yeah, we just, hit a, <laughs> we just hit a milestone. We could stop for the week. And come back next time to good. tackle the new problem. There's a lot. And we hopefully we'll run out of things to do in this game before the, uh, before, uh, it stops working. <laughs> <laughs> well, it held up a lot longer than I expected it would, and that's the important thing. Yeah, we didn't make it far at all last, last season. Comparatively, no. No. There was less stuff, but... but it shit itself hard. Yeah, this base yeah. is a fucking monster at this point. It's pretty great. We have so many separate areas that, like... Are individually a spaghetti monster. Yeah. Like, all of these, like, multi-story, like, towers of chaos. Yeah. But we can still vaguely remember where a bunch of it is. Sometimes. 